Henry Russell was a little eccentric, to say the least. He was known as the greatest practical joker of all time. 11, 12, 13. So his will just had to be out of the ordinary, and it was. How'd you get read the will? Oh, no, 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 Henry. <laughs> Clever chap. <laughs> Greetings, my poor bereaved relatives. Oh, don't look so disappointed. I'm dead, all right. Before you lay your hand on a penny of it, there are certain tasks I want you to perform. Herbert Russell, the gutless wonder. Courage, boldness, a bit of swashbuckle. That's all I want from you for 150,000 quid. You shall march into your present bank manager's office, masked and armed, and frighten the living daylight out of it. Agnes Russell, a lady tyrant of leisure, was to work for a month in a hotel. And for £150,000, she did. Simon Russell's task was easy for a woman chasing bachelor. For his £150,000, he had to marry. The first woman he spoke to. Allow me. Uh, I will have it out in a jiffy. Oh, would you believe it? Try me. Deniston Russell, an honourable literary gentleman, was to get a sentence of a different kind. A prison sentence. Some will, some won't, brings a host of famous stars to the cinema screen. Swear my to God, truth, no truth, nothing but what we got. Sheila Wilcox, 21, Juniper Drive, Ealing, secretary to the captain there, and it's all a pack of lies. <laughs> but the fellas admitted he threw a brick through the window. Uh, temporary insanity, that's what it is. Whether it's temporary insanity, oh, lunacy, or just high spirits, it's the biggest laugh of the year. 28 days! Bingo! Thank you, Sir Charles. Some will, some won't, but nearly everybody will. Won't you? 